Hello friends, this video on alternating currents part 32 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 31 before going ahead with part 32. Now let us look at the next problem. It says that a small town with a demand of 800 kilowatts of electric power at 220 volts is situated 15 kilometers away from an electric plant generating power at 440 volts. So let us draw the diagram which will make things simple. Let us suppose this is the electric plant which is generating power. Right? So this is your electric plant. The resistance of the two wire line carrying power is 0 0.5 ohms per kilometer. The town gets power from a line through a 4000 to 220 volt step down transformer at a substation in the town. So that means this is your power plant. Let us suppose this is the town. And let us say somewhere here you have a substation. Right? Now I discussed before also how does the power get transmitted at the plant near the like at the power plant you have a step up transformer right which will increase the voltage and decrease the current. So it will reach the substation and at the substation you will have a step down transformer. So here you will have a step down transformer. So this will again reduce the voltage and increase the current and then it will be supplied to the town, right? So here it says that the demand of this town was to get a power of 800 kilowatts at 220 volts and it is situated 15 kilometers from the plant. That means it is situated 15 kilometers from here and the plant is generating at 440 volts. So it is generating power at 440 volts. So what happens, it generates power at 440 volts and then it uses a step up transformer. So it will increase the power from 440 volts to a higher value. Then the problem says that the tower gets, the town gets power from the line through a 4000 to 220 volt step down transformer. So this configuration is for this transformer. This is a 4000 to 220 volt step down transformer that means the plant generated a power uh, gener generated voltage that is 440 volts after that the step up transformer increased it to 4000 volts right and then transmitted it to the substation again at the substation there is a step down transformer which decreased the voltage and supplied it to the town so in the first part of the problem we have to calculate the line power loss in the form of heat now, if you look at it, there will be no line power loss from plant to the substation, right? Because in this case, the current is very less because of the presence of the step of transformer, the voltage is increased and the current is decreased a lot. So since the current is very less, there is no considerable line power loss in the form of heat here. So the line power loss is only involved in this part that is from the substation to town, right? So in this case, what would be the power loss in the form of heat? Power loss would be given by I square R. That means the total resistance of the wires from substation to town multiplied by the amount of current square which was transferred from substation to the town. So first let us calculate the total resistance of the wires from substation to town. So what would be the total resistance? If you look at the problem it says that the resistance of the two wire line carrying power is 0 0.5 ohms per kilometer. So what would be the total resistance? Since there are two wires, so it will get multiplied with 2 into 0 0.5 ohms and this is per kilometer. So how much kilometer is it uh, traveling right now? It is traveling a distance of 15 kilometers, right? Because it is 15 kilometers away from the town. Right. So what would be the total resistance of the wires because the wires are carrying current here also. But considerably here the power loss would be less because the current here is considerably reduced. So what will be the total resistance of the wires that will be equal to 15 ohms. This is the total resistance of the wires. Now we have to calculate 
the current. Now at the substation we see that the voltage is going into the step down transformer. So what is the voltage that is entering the step down transformer? That is 4000 volts. That means at the substation the voltage entering the step down transformer is 4000 volts. Right? And what is the power that is delivered to the uh, town? That power is 800 kilowatts that is equal to 800 into 10 to the power 3 watts. Now we know that power is equal to V into I. Therefore we can calculate the value of current as power divided by voltage. So that is equal to 800 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 4000. So this comes out to be 200 amperes. So this is the amount of current which is flowing through the wire. You understood why we took the voltage as 4000 volts because from here the plant generated it as 440 volts but the 440 volts never passed through this line. It was increased to 4000 volts. It was almost increased to 4000 volts that is why we had a step down transformer which could change 4000 and reduce it till 220 volts because the town needed the demand of the town was 220 volts. Right? So that means this 4000 volts traveled through this entire line. Right? So this is the amount, I mean this is the voltage along this wire. So this would be the voltage and what is the power? The power is what the town needs then the power is 800 kilowatts. So that is how we calculated the current. Therefore the heat loss is equal to I square R which is equal to 200 into 200 into R that is 15. So it comes out to be 600 kilowatts. So this is the total power loss in the form of heat. Now let us look at the next part of the problem. It says that how much power must the plant supply assuming there is negligible power loss due to leakage. So how much it should supply because whatever it is supplying out of that a good amount of power is lost in the form of heat. So ideally the plant should supply a little more uh, power so that the amount of heat which we are losing in the form of heat that can be compensated. So that means essential power supply should be equal to the needs of the town whatever the town needs that much you have to supply plus whatever power loss is incurred right so the town needs is 800 kilowatts and power loss involved is 600 kilowatts therefore ideally the plant should supply essentially 1400 kilowatts of power so that it can take care of the needs of the town as well as it can take care of the uh, power heat losses which are incurred during transmission. Let us now look at the third part it says the characterize the step up transformer at the plant. So what how the step up transformer should be I mean it should the step up transformer should be able to change the voltage from 440 volts to a higher value. So what should that higher value be? So many of you might think that the higher value should be 4000 volts because here it is 4000 but not only 4000 but also there is some heat loss which is incurred here right. So that also we need to take into account. So that means at the power plant it produces 440 volts. At substation what is the power? It was 4000 volts. But some voltage drop, some voltage loss, not voltage loss, you can say that some power loss along wire, right? So what is that power loss or what is the voltage drop along the wire that will be equal to I into R? So that is equal to I is 200 amperes and R is 15 ohms. That is equal to 3000 volts. Therefore, the step up transformer should be from 440 volts to 4000 
plus 3000 volts so that it can take care of the loss which is being encountered while reaching from plant to the substation so its configuration should be 440 volts to 7000 volts thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more Thank you once again.